Slide rear body and protective sleeve with spring onto the cable. Make sure the fiber passes through the inner tube in the protection sleeve. Strip approximately 25 millimeter of buffer. Strip the 250 micron primary coating as well. Clean the fiber with a lint-free wipe moistened with alcohol. Make sure the buffer is flush with the end of the fiber holder. Push the carriage with the wheel to its starting point. Place the fiber holder in the cleaver. Make sure it is all the way forward. Push down to cleave the fiber. Place the fiber holder over the two pins on the left side. Make sure the fiber lays in the groove next to the electrodes. Do not touch the fiber. Using the ferrule holder included with the package of connectors, open the clamp and lay the fiber in the groove with the ferrule and the pocket under the clamp. Close the clamp. Use the white handle to move the ferrule sub-assembly. Never touch the fiber stub. Gently close the lid, being careful not to pinch the fiber. Start the splice program. First, slide the protective sleeve and spring up to the fiber clamp on the splicer. Then carefully remove the splice from the clamps, being sure to keep a small amount of tension on the fiber. Open the left clamp and then the right. While keeping tension on the splice, slide the protective tube over the fiber until it covers the smaller diameter on the ferrule hub. Do not twist the fiber. Place the assembly in the heater. Right side first, then left. Keep tension on the splice. Make sure the protective tube does not move. Start the heater program. Slide the rear body over the protective sleeve and the housing over the ferrule hub. Inspect the placement of the sleeve on the hub to verify the sleeve uniformly covers the smaller diameter of the hub. Then push the rear body into the housing until it latches into the housing. Cut the plastic handle from the dust cap to complete the connector installation. 